Hello ladies and gentlemen, this is Ethan aka The Mighty Zero and welcome back to Mega Man X3. Last time, we dealt with Blast Hornet, got ourselves a set of ride armor, and uh, picked up a few upgrades at uh, Gravity Beetle. So today, I believe we're going to go ahead and take a shot at Volt Catfish. His is a little bit interesting. It's got these traps here. You kind of want to dash through, otherwise you will be shot. And these guys, they have an energy shield if you break their horns, and you have to kind of break through that. Yeah, those will shoot you if, they, if you give them a chance. You know what? I'll let you live. You get to deck. All right, here's an interesting choice. This is actually, you know what? We're gonna deal with you. Yeah, you're an issue. All right, here's an interesting choice. This platform here, normally, uh, if you play this level before you get the scene with Dr. Doppler, this will just be a regular platform. However, if you haven't beaten all the Robot Masters yet, or the Robot Masters, all the Maverick Hunt Mavericks yet, this is another route you can use to hit the Vile Transporter. Uh, currently, I think we will skip it for right now, and we'll pick that up on the next stage. That is the last, uh, that is the last lo location we have for the Vile Transporter. It's the three locations in Blizzard Buffalo, Volcanfish, and, uh, uh, I totally forgot the last one's name. Ah, eh, well. Alright. Climbing up the stairway, or climbing up the... Wow, I am not doing well. This, this is a great start to this recording batch. Alright. Yeah, so... Climbing up. Not a whole lot that's here. Uh, these wall spikes, I believe, are insta-death. So be extremely careful with them. Uh, that is the correct way to go normally, but we'll go ahead over here and get a life container. So air dash over, just use the wall, and you're safe. You're safe to go. Take him down. It's pretty much just safe I to move through this part. Um, I'm gonna use this to help us get through. It's nice just to kind of lock them down and let them go their own way. Uh, that is the way to go, but we're not going that way because up this way is actually this. Uh, this little platform here is another way to, or it's a way that you can get to a set of armor. Uh, and it actually kind of gives you a little, uh, if you notice on the device there, it actually gives you a little diagram of what you need to do in order to get up there. So, we'll go ahead and come over to Gravity Well, start getting that charged up, and we saw this used in the boss, uh, how it, you shoot that up there, and then it pulls this up with it. That's kind of a nifty little mechanic there. And then we'll jump right over here and get another capsule. <clears throat> Enter this capsule X. Take this armor upgrade. The upgrade will decrease the damage done to your systems. As you receive damage, a defense field will regenerate to protect you. Alright! Finally, another set of armor. It's been a while since we've gotten one of these. This one's kind of awesome. I love the shoulder pads up on that. So yeah, as it's demonstrating right here, this armor will help defend against uh, damage. Once we get hit, it pops up a shield that helps uh, reduce damage further, I believe. 
so, and that pops up every time you get hit. So, yeah, so if we proc that here, and then we take even less damage. So that's kind of a nice little uh, extra bit of defense. Pretty handy, again, during longer fights to help keep alive. Transitioning through the power plant. And uh, we're supposed to go down, but we're going to go up again. Because, hey, guess what? There's a ride platform and we can use it here. So we'll go ahead and use the uh, kangaroo here. Ah, uh, yeah. Because if we use the right armor here, we'll drop down, take a little bit of damage, land on that section of floor, we break down into the basement here. And voila! We'll pick that, we'll pick up that sub tank, and that marks all four sub tanks done. So with the uh, with the life container, the sub tank, and the armor upgrade, that marks Volt Catfish done for upgrades. So all we now have to do is defeat the boss. Easy enough. Alright, you know what? We're gonna see... Yeah. Ray Splasher tends to be pretty good on the smaller enemies. Down, dropping down. Uh, you can actually hang on these sections of tubes, just not the section where the electricity is surging through. Hang into the wall, because the walls are your friends. And now we're at Volt Catfish. His weapon, his weakness is going to be the tornado fang here. And uh, we'll, we'll let Volt Catfish demonstrate a few of his moves first. Before we start using his weakness. So he jumps at you. He launches, uh, he pounds, he hits the, does the ground pound. Let's out the electricity. All right, come on, you gonna use your other attack, man? Come on. There we go. Launches those off, electrifies them, and uh, will shock you. Unfortunately, Volt Catfish also suffers from this, suffers from a uh, Spark Mandrel Syndrome. You can actually get him to a nice little point here where you can just dodge right underneath him. And just launch it. Uh, now he's going to be using his super move since he's half health. Launch that everywhere. And dodge at you again. So, not terribly difficult. I mean, it hits, hits multiple times in the area. Can be kind of hard to dodge. Unfortunately, this is the part that's one of the easiest, where you just, since Tornado Fang lasts for so long, you can just literally sit here, putting one out after the other, and it'll, it'll do damage. Even if he's gone like that, you can break his concentration. So, and I kind of like how the drill kind of gets all bent out, but honestly, with his weakness, Volt Catfish is no issue. But uh, that knocks, knocks another Maverick uh, out of the ring. Have another win under, win under our belt. And with that, we, uh, we got another power. And honestly, this is one of my most favorite powers in the game. It's fairly, fairly useful in its utility. Fairly useful in utility. It's got a lot of utility with that. Of the triad, it's triad thunder. It gives you a nice little shield there that you can use, and 
unless the enemy is really powerful, it will tear through a lot of enemies, meaning that you can just dash around and use it. Uh, it also has a second utility, which I'm going to demonstrate by going back to Tunnel Rhino here. So in the beginning section here, where we came over, uh, I said that the, there was these rocks here where we, no matter what we did, we couldn't hurt them. Uh, even with the tornado thing itself, which normally breaks through these, it just drills off like that. This is where Triad Thunder comes in. As you remember, one of uh, well, Catfish's abilities with it was he hit the ground and he sent electricity out. With this, you do it here, sends out two wads of electricity there, and gives you a platform you can use to run over and get the health extender there. Uh, there is actually another power up here that we're gonna go and uh, grab. So I will see you over there in just a minute. All right, and we're back. And if you notice this section here, we also had one of these boulders. Set the ground pound on that. And we can come over here and dig up to the surface where another capsule awaits us. Two capsules in the same episode, it must be Christmas. Enter this capsule, X. Take this sensor upgrade for your helmet. The upgrade will help you find hidden items based on the satellite readings. You should be able to tell the exact location of items using its ground penetrating radar. Alright, jump in here for our last armor upgrade. The headpiece. Ah, uh, that's the X I know and love. So this one, at the beginning of every stage, you will get a map sensor of this, where it will give you a basic layout of the level, and wherever any power-ups are, they will be flashing red dots. Um, unfortunately, this is not something you can call up at any time, or it doesn't give you your position. It's something that happens at the beginning of the stage, but can be pretty handy. Uh, it also has a secondary effect if we go out back to the stage select. Password for anybody that's interested in it. So going back out to the stage select, it now gives us a list of items on that stage. You'll notice that since we have all three items here, it lists what they were, but it has them as just white. Whereas we go here, they're highlighted in pink, meaning that we haven't collected them yet. So this is a good way to find, you know, whatever you're missing here. This one, we're missing a chip. This one, we've got everything. Missing a chip here. Missing a chip there. Got everything. Got everything. So the last thing we really need to, all the last things we really need to get now are just from uh, Crawfish. Why am I forgetting his name? This is so bad. Anyway, next time we'll be tackling him. Uh, picking up the last few upgrades that we need, uh, dealing with the last optional boss before we start heading into the final stages, and uh, generally wrapping up everything up in the in these extra worlds here. So uh, thank you again for watching. Uh, you know, feel free to watch more of our videos on this channel. Uh, subscribe, like the videos. Uh, really helps us out. And uh, again, thank you for watching. This is Ethan, a.k.a. The Mighty Zero, signing out.